We are the lifelines for any injured Marine, or in my situation, any injured soldier that we have. So we are the ones that have to maintain that I'm invincible attitude. I can't show no emotion attitude. There are times in your career uh, when you're exposed uh, to extreme circumstances, uh, you just rely on your instincts uh, and what you've been trained. Um, and it, that holds true uh, in many cases, and especially that day for Petty Officer Betis uh, and those four soldiers um, that he took care of that day. His basic training, his advanced training, without thinking, without hesitation, it all came back. Our convoy was to go to the Chark Police District and mentor the Afghan police. And about 500 meters from that district center, our lead truck was hit by an IED, improvised explosive device. Uh, I was in the rear truck and immediately the call for the medic came out over the radio, we need a medic, we need a medic. So my first instinct and my first thought was, you know, a deep breath and, okay, here we go. When the explosion rocked, he, uh, of course, there was uh, the commotion, unsure what was, what had just happened. Uh, and uh, he took prompt action. Uh, and ran to that vehicle uh, undertaking live fire. And uh, uh, there were four people that were blown out of the vehicle um, and he rendered uh, life-saving aid to all four members who are alive today because of his actions. I came around in January where I started putting together what I called a mini medic class to start training general infantry soldiers on how to do advanced medical care. In February, one of those soldiers used the skills that I had taught to save the life of a French, French soldier the a and had used, you know, emergency treatment medical skills to save the lives of four or five of their policemen when they were hit by IEDs. So it's, you know, broad scale from my point of being there and impacting all these other members of the coalition force that we work with to save the lives of their own people. Those men um, are going to, they're going to they're gonna grow old uh, because of him. They're going to have uh, extended families because of him. Um, there, there are wives and daughters and mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers out there who had their loved ones returned because of him. That's what makes him a hero. Um, if my brother-in-law had had someone uh, there for him in Iraq, maybe my niece um, would have her father. But there wasn't anybody like Mike that day there for my brother. And um, that's why he's a hero to me.